In this video, we're going to continue our discussions about the normal distributions. We're going to explore properties of the normal distributions that allow us to unlock various questions that may be thrown at us. So let's go ahead and dive right in to a practice problem. So here's our practice problem. A franchise, def a franchise defines poor pay as 80% of the average pay measured in dollars per hour. And we're told that 17% of workers are poorly paid. So let's just write it, write that out. So we know that 17% um, make uh, less than or equal to 80% of the average salary. So that's good to know. And then we're told to assume that pay is normally distributed, calculate the following, the coefficient of variation of pay. And we remember that the coefficient of variation is simply equal to the standard deviation divided by the expected value. Okay, so we're not given a lot of information, but we're given enough to solve for this question. So what is important? Well, we're told that 17% of workers are poorly paid and we're told that we can assume that there's a normal distribution. So let's go ahead and just draw our normal distribution here for a second. Right, we're centered around some value that we don't exactly know for our expected value. And we're told that 17% of workers make less than or equal to 80% of the average pay. So this would be 0.8 X bar or 80% of the average pay. Now we can draw this as a standard normal curve as well. So we can look at this and we draw our standard normal curve also associated with our Z score. So centered around a Z score of zero and we don't know what this value of Z is equal to, but we do know that the area to the left of this value is equal to 0.17. So why don't we go ahead and look up whatever this corresponding value is for Z, and we're going to look that up in our Z table. So what we're going to look for is 0 0.17. And if we look here, we have the value of 0 0.17, it's gonna be somewhere between 0 0.95 negative 0 0.95 and negative 0.96. So we're just gonna say zero point, negative 0 0.955, which is halfway between negative 0 0.95 and negative 0 0.96, right? 17% is gonna be somewhere between these two values. So we'll just approximate that. So we know that this value here is equal to negative 0.955. So if we were to do our Z score for that problem, Z is equal to the observed value of X minus the expected value of X divided by our standard deviation of X. So in this case, we know that Z is equal to negative 0.955 is equal to X minus X bar divided by our standard deviation of X. Now, we don't know what our standard deviation is, and we don't really know what our expected value is, but we do know that this corresponding value for x is 80% is 20% less or 80% of our expected value. So in this case, if we assume an expected value of 100, well, 80% of the expected value would make this 80. So we can just go here, 0 0.955 is equal to 80 minus 100 divided by our standard deviation of X. In this case, we'll solve for our standard deviation of X. So this is equal to 80 minus 100 divided by negative 0 0.955. So 
So 80 minus 100 divided by negative 0 0.955 gives us a value of 20.9425. So that's our value for our standard deviation. Now, why is it important that we were able just to assume an expected value here? Well, because we were told that it's normally distributed and we're not necessarily interested in what is the average pay, but we're interested in 80% below the expected value and we knew the probability at which that was associated, we can assume an expected value and calculate our standard deviation because it assumes a normal distribution and the standard deviation um, will uh, apply to that normal distribution in, accordingly in according way. So then our question here, what is the coefficient of the variation of pay? So the coefficient of variation is equal to the standard deviation divided by the expected value, which is 20.9424. We can do this better is equal to 20.9424 divided by the expected value, which in this case we assume to be 100. So really important here, we have to keep our expected value the same as what we assumed in the previous question right here. We have to keep that consistent um, because the coefficient of variation is a measure of the standard deviation relative to the expected value, um, no matter what value you assumed for your expected value, you're going to end up with the same coefficient of variation. So we get 20.9424 divided by 100, which gives us a coefficient of variation of 0 0.209424. So that's our coefficient of variation. And then finally, what is the probability that a randomly selected worker is paid more than 50% above average pay. So we can look at our normal curve here. Right, we assumed an expected value of 100. So x is equal to 50% uh, above average pay, so 1.5 times our expected value. So this is equal to 1.5 times 100 which gives us a value of 150. So what we're interested in here is what is the probability that they make more than 50% above average. So all we're gonna do here is calculate a Z score. So Z is equal to the observed value of X minus the expected value of X divided by our standard deviation of X. So this is equal to 150 minus 100 divided by our standard deviation of 20.9424. So 150 minus 100 divided by 20.9424 gives us a Z score of 2.39 if we round to two decimal points. So we'll draw our standard normal curve just to visualize this. We're centered around zero and we get a Z score here of 2.39. We're interested in the area to the right. Why are we interested in the area to the right? Well, the question says, is paid more than 50% above average pay? So what we're interested in here is the probability that Z is greater than or equal to 2.39, which is equal to one minus the probability that Z is less than or equal to 2.39. So we go to our Z table and look up 2.39. So let's do that. So 2.39, well, that's this value right here. So 0 0.99158 is the value for, I'll move my head, negative 2.39. You can also just move this up negative 2.39 is right there. So 0 0.99158. So one minus 0 0.99158. 
So this is equal to one minus 0 0.99158. So is equal to 0 0.00842. And there we have it. So in this question, what we've done is we've used the properties of the normal distribution to unlock our question. And we've used the instance where we assume an expected value when given other values and use the properties of the normal distribution to answer our associated questions. That's it for this video. But if you found that it helped make statistics easy, consider showing your support by giving the video a like. And if you still need more help with statistics, then consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I look forward to solving many more problems with you next time.